getting a chance to say I'm home. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you, man? It's important. You know, it's, it's a special feeling, um, having an opportunity to come back and, and, uh, you know, growing up in Beaverton, Oregon for, for my entire life, you know, I, uh, you know, I've always looked up to, to guys who've gone and played at Oregon, Oregon State. And, and uh, you know, for me being a, a Beaverton Beaver playing at Beaverton High School and, and wearing that black and orange and now having the opportunity to go do it, um, you know, right down the road in Corvallis, you know, that's, that's a special opportunity. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fun time and, and I'm just excited for the opportunity, thankful for the opportunity and, and ready to get to work. That has to be a trip to go from a Beaver to a beaver like when you think about a big picture you know the down to the colors that you mentioned I mean how yeah. wild is that is that something you could you ever dreamed about definitely you know as a as a hometown kid um of Beaverton like I said you know just just I always looked up to guys who went to Oregon State and and you know I didn't really uh you know get that opportunity straight out of high school and 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 so when the opportunity kind of arose, you know, I, I jumped on it and, you know, jumped on it with passion. And I'm just, I'm, like I said, I'm ready to go and ready to get going. But I'm, I'm, uh, I'm super excited and, and grateful for the, for the opportunity. How special is it to have your friends, family so close to you now to know that they'll get a chance to see you play in person? It's awesome, you know, and I, you know, I've known, I have a lot of, you know, Beaver fans as friends and family friends. So when, when I uh, made the decision and made the announcement, you know, I, I was getting texts from, from everybody back home. So, you know, the some support here is, is real. And, and, you know, I know that, you know, even Oregon fans, even Doug fans are saying, you know what, we'll root for you guys all but one game, you know? So, um, you know, like I said, the support is incredible and, and I'm really excited to play in front of, um, you know, a lot of, a lot more of my, my home, hometown friends, hometown, um, you know, some more fans and, and even just to play in front of Beaver Nation. You know, I know how, how, uh, how Beaver Nation is and how rowdy they get. And, and, um, you know, I'm just, just looking forward to, to being able to hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, get a play in, in front of a hundred, hundred percent capacity Beaver Nation. So, so we'll see how it goes, but I'm really excited. It's, I know it's still so early and, you know, there's still, you know, practice and everything that comes along to the buildup before the season, but has it hit you yet that you, that this change has come? Um, you know, I think it's starting to hit me a little bit more, you know, obviously when, when it happened, it was very overwhelming and, and, you know, it doesn't quite hit you yet, but, but now I think that I've had time to settle down and kind of think about everything, you know, I'm, 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 like I said, I'm just excited and I'm ready to get out there, but it, it definitely is, it's, it's hit, starting to hit me more. And like I said, I'm just ready for the opportunity to go in there and get an opportunity to compete for the, for the starting job. And, and, um, you know, hopefully win that and then take the beefs and start winning some games. I'm sure this is a question that you've had asked you a million times, but why Oregon state? You know, like I said a little bit earlier, um, it just seemed right. You know, it was kind of match made in heaven almost. And, you know, with two great offensive minds and 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 uh, Coach Smith and, and Coach Lindgren. And then, you know, they have a great offensive staff and a great defensive staff. So, you know, I got to meet those guys in person um, when I entered my name to the portal. And, and it was just, you know, it felt like it was um, – home for me and you know it being an hour hour 15 away from from where I am here in Beaverton it just it couldn't have lined up better you know in the situation going into it you know I feel confident and, and um like I said they're 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 offering just a, a chance to compete for the job and and you know it's not going to be easy competition but but at the same time you know I'm I'm a, a very competitive guy and and, you know, I'm, I'm confident in myself and I'm excited to get in there. And like I said, just get to work. But it just felt right. You know, everything. I got teammates. Uh, right now I have teammates who, who I've known for a while, you know. Um, so there's players on the team who I've known and, and even coaching staff. Now that, you know, coach gives you the pitch and says, hey, you can come out and, and compete for the job, doesn't actually say you would be our starter. Do you like that, that it's not given to you? Absolutely. You know, that's how, how I've, uh, you know, kind of approached every season at Colorado and even, you know, my career prior to that, my high school career. So, 
you know, I always, um, you know, don't want anything given to me. You know, I got to go earn everything. And, and that just makes it a little bit more fun, right? When you, when, you know, if you do win that job. So, um, you know, I'm excited. And, and I think that, you know, I was just going to have a chip on my shoulder going into it. And, and, you know, I didn't finish the season last year the way I wanted it to. So, um, you know, I got a lot of things to improve upon and, and get better at. And, you know, I feel like I've, I've already started to do that in this off season. So, um, you know, I feel like I can better myself and better the team around me and, and hopefully start bring some success to to a team like like Oregon State. Yeah, you, you touched on it there at the end, especially. But how much did the way things ended last year motivate you knowing you have one more chance, man? You have another year to play college football. Yeah, I think, like I said, you know, you're only as good as your as your last performance. And that's really stuck with me just because the season didn't end the way I wanted to. And, and you know, I felt like I. I left it out out all on the field, but at the same time, you know, we came up short and and um, you know against Utah and Texas, and like I said, it just wasn't the way I wanted to go out. So, uh, you know, I've I've reflected on on the season, but you know, I'm just trying to stay neutral and stay stay in the present, right? You know, I think presence is is important in in my situation, kind of, but also looking how can I get better and and you know what can I do that's how can I learn from, from last season and learn from the wins and learn from the losses, you know, but not dwell on them, not, you know, um, I think that's really important. And, and also, you know, with the Oregon state team, you know, how can I, how can I go in there and like I said, help, help implement and help start winning right away. You know, what can I do from, from the start, from day one, you know, that's going to help, you know, maybe take the, these guys to another level. And, you know, I know that that we have the potential at Oregon State, you know, we, we definitely have the potential to be really good. But, um, you know, it all starts right now. And, and you know, that really started uh, a while ago, you know, in the offseason when the offseason started. But, but um, you know, I just I just want to learn from from the past and and, you know, help help uh, bring bring a, some success to, to Oregon State. Sam, I can't imagine that it's an easy thing to do to come in and have to learn the system, to figure out everything in such a short period of time. What is it that makes you think, okay, there are certain things I'm familiar with or things that make you comfortable? Like, what is it that makes you think, okay, I can come in and and I can get things going in just such a limited amount of time? Mm -hmm. You know, I think it, it, there's a couple of things to answer that question, you know, I think first it starts with my relationship with Brian Lindgren, the offensive coordinator, you know, he brought a lot of the things that, that he was, um, uh, you know, that he had at Colorado when I was there over to Oregon state and he's still running, you know, a lot of the similar things there. So I think that, that transit, that makes the transition a little bit smoother. And also I've had four different offensive coordinators in, in my five years at Colorado, you know, three different, com completely different offenses, you know, we were we were told that within, you know, the end of the season, um, you know, you're going to have to learn a whole new offense by spring ball. And, you know, we're given a month, two months at, at, at max and trying to learn these new offenses. And, and that's something that that I as the years went on, you know, at the first one, it was a little bit difficult. But then, you know, the second the second offense or third offense, you know, I had it down and, you know, I was I was learning on the fly and, and just becoming a student of the game and absorbing it kind of like a sponge. And, and, you know, I, I really feel like that has um, set me up for a moment like this, you know, where, where, you know, you don't have too much time going in, going into summer, but, but we got two, two months and that's plenty enough, plenty. That's more than enough for me. So, um, you know, I think that that, that kind of helps me in, in a situation like this. I'm so impressed by your, your journey. Uh, just for, for a college player, especially, you know, quarterback to basically go through, you know, multiple coaches to go through a couple of different positions to play, you know, defense and then come back and play offense and then to excel offensively. How has all of this prepared you for this moment to go through so many, you know, ups and downs and be challenged like that in so many different ways and have another opportunity to do it? I think it's all prepared me really um, from, like you said, you know, being, being a quarterback and switching over to, to um, the defensive side of the things, you know, I had the opportunity to learn under a great coach and, and Mel Tucker. And, and he taught me a lot of things on the defensive side of the ball. And he's been at, 
you know, some really, really good um, notable schools like Alabama and Georgia and even in the NFL. Some. So he's had some sec- success on the defensive side, right? And so for me, I was like, you know what, I can take this opportunity and I can dwell on it or I can learn from them and, and see how, how I'm going to get better maybe on the defensive side or maybe I go back to offense. And, you know, as it obviously ended up, I ended up going back to, to the offensive side. But, you know, I, I learned a lot from from him and, and – um, you know, my defense coordinator in summers over there. So I think that it was – all of it's just been a great learning experience for me and, and trying to pick pick apart different different um, things from each coaches, you know, and, and it, I think it's all played into kind of some of that success that I had last year for sure. And I think it's made, made me the player that I am today. And so I'm very fortunate. You know, it's been a crazy journey, but I'm very fortunate for – everybody involved in it um you know my my teammates coaches back in Colorado all all my coaches and and you know now I'm now I'm going into Oregon State and I'm excited for her and I'm gonna grab the bull by the horns and and go go full full steam ahead says a lot about you Sam because some people it, it could have been easy to quit in that moment and to not I guess my question to you is what does football mean to you? Yeah, it's, I mean, like I said, it hasn't been easy. And there's a couple of conversations that I've had with myself where I look at myself in the mirror and I've asked myself those t- difficult questions, you know, if I'm, if I'm really uh, willing to do this or willing to switch a position or willing to switch a school or, or enter, you know. So um, I think it says a lot about how much this game means to me, though. You know, I've, I've, I've been a football fan since since I can remember, you know, growing up, I've, I've loved sports and I just love being out on the field. And, and that's kind of where I, I thrive. And, um, you know, I, so I just think it, I play with a passion. I think you kind of see that if you, if you watch my games, you know, I really um, am willing to, to go all out and leave everything on the line, like I said, and, and um, you know, winning to me is everything, you know, and, and so I'm, I'm very competitive. I'm very, very competitive. And, and, you know, I think you kind of can see that in, in my, in my play. So. Just last but not least, Sam, uh, you know, your experience going to research stadium, seeing the, you know, the Oregon state fans, Beaver nation, you played against them. Now you get a chance to have them on your side. How cool Mm -hmm. is that? It's incredible. Like I said, you know, I, I have so many friends and family who, who are be beaver a part of Beaver Nation, right? And um, I've I've experienced it since I was a little kid. You know, I, I know how how uh, awesome Beaver Nation is, and 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 you know, like I said, I'm I'm excited to be on this side of Beaver Nation. I'm excited for for them to be cheering me on, you know, um, and to have them behind us, you know, because come this fall, we're gonna we're gonna get things rolling, and 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 we want Beaver Nation to roll with us. You know, we're excited for for everything, and like we said, we're we're just hoping that we can get 100% capacity back back there in research. So, um, but yeah, I'm I'm super stoked.